Hygiene lovers, Philip Jones, the Martini Whisperer here. Thanks for tuning in. I've been asked by Gin Society to talk about their range of fabulous international craft gins from around the world. Uh, but this one is really, really unique. Uh, it's from Tasmania, distilling powerhouse from Australia, as well we know. But it's made of cheese. Well, not quite. Not quite, but quite. It's um, Sheep's Way um, from Hartshorn Distillery, family business. Sheep's Way Gin, and you'll notice all hand finished in wax, hand labelled, bottle 5331 of 150, which means, the back here, means that small batch means small batch, 150 bottles in this particular batch of gin, each one hand labelled, hand sealed, hand poured um, by the family down there who make this fair bit of stuff. Um, Self taught, Ryan Hartshorn, family business. And they decide what to do with the sheep's way, which is the byproduct of their, their main business, the primary producers, and the genius idea of making gin out of it. And uh, so what do you get when you get sheep's way and use as a basis of your gin? Let's find out. Now, they've used um, a couple of Australian botanicals. Obviously, besides the juniper, there's six. There's lemon myrtle, anise myrtle, uh, wattle seed, which gets a real nutty kind of flavour. It's almost like a really good uh, coffee, coffee kind of note. Uh, Tasmanian pepper leaf, naturally, uh, and there's a couple others which they might tell, which is fair enough. So, on the palate, on the nose, it's, it's quite, it's quite clean. Doesn't smell like cheap in any shape or form. It's beautiful, light and aromatic nose. No spirit heat, no volatility whatsoever. It's about forty-two percent ABV. This part of it. A little bit of maltiness, nuttiness, which I'm, it's going to be the pepperberry and also the wattle seed. I'd suggest. And then just neat, mm, kind of mm, almost like butterscotchy, caramelly, nutty up front with really creamy on the palate with a nice spicy, peppery, lingering notes at the back. Great. So what to do it, how to drink? Well, I thought I'd go a bit adventuresome. Since we're way off on the beam here in terms of unconventionality, we might as well go all in. And uh, so what I propose to do with this is kind of make a riff on a sort of a martinez using some dry sherry instead of vermouth. So if you've got that lingering peppery spice, why not emphasize that? So again, very, very simple. Um, I want the gin to speak for itself. So I'm just gonna put a little splash of the uh, dry sherry. This is a fino sherry, by the way, Spanish one, but you could use something similar. And that also was going to emphasize some of these nutty, richer, savory flavors in the botanical profile as well. Mm, it's really pleasant. Okay, just rinse the glass of that, the ice bit, and then a couple of nips of the, um, of the gin. So. so we're not going super dry. A great little bottle, again. Typical story of Australian distillers. Small batch, hand finished, passionate, bottled on farm, take it to the market. This guy's work for a living. Stir it down until it's nice and chilled. So what I'm after is a fair bit of rich caramely spice that's kind of linger and linger and linger and linger on the palate of the cocktail. And I might just put a couple little drops of orange bitters in this one just to accentuate some little aromatics. Oh yeah, that seems to work. You've got to trust me on that one. Uh, the tricky thing we're working with Australian Botanicals is, as you may be aware, they're quite powerful in their flavours. And so they can be very hard to pull off. Often one dominates the other, um, which can be a bit unbalanced uh, and not desirable, but um, in this instance, they've really, really pulled it off. So I've got a fancy glass, nice little vintage. My little vintage and century modern style. And I think, uh, I think a lemon twist would do nicely with this, just to cut through some of these richer flavours, like so. That's what it tastes. Cheers. Creamy. Oh, kind of caramelly, vanilla-y up front. 
and then I'm getting, I'm getting that butterscotch spice at the back. Things to work very well. So something to try, something different. So you can switch out your dry, some fino sherry or some very dry sherry instead of your vermouth. Mm, very agreeable. So here's cheers. Here's your gin. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.